Y'all already know why I'm wearing this shirt, bro. Y'all already know why I'm wearing this shirt. 24, 23, really? I just had to let this marinate for a couple days because I've been really upset about the result of the game, what's going on inside of the game, and all of that. But let me start right here with this first. I don't want anything bad to happen to Ryan Shazier, but you shouldn't be leading with your head, bro. That's what you did with the dirty stuff last year with Gio. We ain't forgot. And I'm glad that now the media is finally seeing how dirty this team is in Pittsburgh because now you got Juju Smithster, Smith Schuster pulling the, you know, your prototypical squealer-esque uh, play, which is most of the times dirty and always trying to taunt somebody after you and did somebody dirty. I'm glad that they're finally seeing it now. And Juju, I hope <laughs> that you're going to be waking up and having nightmares and stuff like that because next game your head be, better be on the swivel, boy, because Tez is coming at you. And this is the thing. Everything, the only thing that got lost in the shuffle with all of this is the fact that you guys were not able to bait Tez into anything. That whole night, whole night, he wasn't on any of y'all extracurricular activities that y'all like getting into once we get up on y'all, which is usual. That's that's usually your MO. Once you guys, you know, get behind, you like to start doing dirty stuff. Tez didn't go for it. But the thing is, that wasn't talked about. So let's talk about that. I want to salute Tez because you didn't go you didn't go for any of the BS that they were trying to pull with you. Le'Veon Bell can get up in your face and do all of that, but there wasn't no flags. All of this stuff. I'm glad he didn't give in to the extracurricular activity. But Juju, I'm going to say a prayer for you, bro, because you just signed your death notice like Stephen A. Smith said. You signed your death warrant with that one. But anyway... I'm glad that they were exposed for the dirty players that they have on their team. And it's not just one, not two. It's way more than that. You got Juju being added to the mix now. Uh, what, James Harrison, who's been known to be a dirty player forever. Mike Mitchell. I don't care about his interview. He's still dirty. Um, who else? I mean, you really don't even have to think too hard about it. And this is the thing. I love how these guys try to go out here and gloat like they're so much better than us and all that. Y'all barely beat us, bruh. Y'all barely beat us. You really, you really needed the refs help to even beat us. Let's just be real. Y'all needed that call with the holding on Geo for the AJ third touchdown because y'all can't do nothing with him because Artie Burns got burnt the entire game. Y'all lucky that that actually got called back. And I'm mad at the NFL for even calling something like that. Not only because it was a bad call, but look at how that affected the outcome of the game. Like, you can't make a call like that on a scoring play. Okay? That, ch that, that play right there actually changes the gravity of the game because you go from it being 24 to 23 you know, to our, my bad, not 24 to 20, 23 to 20, my bad. I'm so hot that I'm thinking about what the score should have been made. It, it's 24 to 23, but it probably wouldn't have been that because they would have needed to actually score a touchdown. So you change the entire outcome of the game just off of that one decision. Just off of that one decision, bro. I really didn't like that. Um, They took out Joe Mixon. So now y'all taking out Joe Mixon because... You know, he made comments saying that he could do more than what Le'Veon Bell did with 37 carries. Like, why did that even make you mad, though? Like, what what, what, what reason does he have to be for Joe Mixon? But anyway, y'all took out Joe Mixon because he was doing his thing. And then, you know, we got this other stuff that we're talking about with the George Iloka hit on A.B., I'm glad he hit it. He, I'm glad he hit AB like that. You want to talk about karma, karma this, karma that. The real karma is, I shouldn't be saying this, but it's it's the Ryan Shazier. When you try to hit low with your head, that's what happens, bro. I'm praying for you to make it through that, but that's that that's real karma. Um, but obviously, you know, Burfick played a great game, didn't get too dirty. We played a great game. We came out ready to take that victory. It was snatched from us between Marvin Lewis's bad coaching decisions and the referee with their horrible calls all night talking about we set a record for the most penalty yard. What is that, bruh? Like, all of that 178 can't be self-inflicted, bruh. Like, come on. But anyway, 
that call right there, man, it just between the elements of Marvin Lewis and and bad refs, we just lost the game. And I'm just glad because I love to hear how these guys that are Steeler fans and their players gloat. Oh, it's not a rivalry. They're not a good team. How? You barely beat us. You barely beat us. It's been years where y'all barely beat us. Or we beat y'all. Like, there's no dominance, bro. And to, to sit there and say that y'all have no respect for the Cincinnati Bengals. And, and we don't respect. Yeah, we don't respect y'all because y'all don't respect us. When we play Baltimore, it's not like that. There's respect there. There's no dirty plays. There's none of that. Y'all started that. I'm tired of y'all going out here talking about y'all victims because Burfick did all of this and that. Y'all been doing this for years. This is who the Steelers are. It's part of y'all. It's part of y'all culture, y'all, y'all team, and all of that. And it's just crazy to me, like when y'all start trying to do that to other teams when you're losing, and they turn it on you. Y'all try to say, "Oh, they're dirty or they're not worthy." Man, nobody cares about what y'all think. Because when y'all do it to us, it's okay. It's cool. It's karma. It's y'all laughing. It's y'all standing over people and all of that. Man, you know what? <laughs> I can't wait until Ben Roethlisberger retires because we finna dominate y'all. Dominate y'all. Y'all barely beat us now. I can't wait until we get a new coach. And I can't wait until Ben Roethlisberger retires because that whole stairway to seven stuff is over. And I hope that Brady ends it again this year because he dominates y'all. Y'all want to talk about domination. Y'all versus the Patriots is domination. That's all I'm going to say. But, yeah, our season's over. It is what it is. Um, hopefully, Marvin Lewis is out of there. Marvin Lewis definitely has to get out of there. Uh, John Ross didn't even play. I'm not surprised. On IR, which he gets a bruh t-shirt for this. I might have to send him one just for that. Didn't even play the entire year. So, top 10 pick down the drain. Um, shout out to Andy Dalton. I've been giving you some flack, but you played a great game. Uh, shout out to the players. You guys had to deal with not only Marvin Lewis's bad coaching, you also had to deal with the elements, and you had to deal with some bad refs. So shout out to y'all. Um, the defense, man, y'all got to show some more heart after Vontez got got uh, removed from the game. It always seems to be a common theme that this defense totally changes without Vontez perfect. And I'm not sure how big of... Um, us missing Reggie Nelson was, but I feel like back in the days when we still had Reggie Nelson, we still kind of held it down. We kind of struggled to have that enforcer. And shout out to George Iloka. I'm glad you popped AB. I say it again. I'm glad you popped AB because he deserved it after all of that stuff he was talking after the game. But I'm glad that the NFL did not, did not suspend you. So shout out to you. And Juju, I'm praying for you, bro. I'm praying for you, bro. But um, I got a surprise for you guys coming. G should be sending me a video. She'll give you guys her reaction on what's going on. This weekend, we'll be back together again on the show. So stay tuned for that. And as usual, I'll leave you guys with a who day, all day, every day, and especially on Sunday. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment. I know I'm not the only mad one out there. Y'all let me know what it is. But Pittsburgh... I could care less about y'all, your fans, anything that's going on with y'all. Anything. It's pure hatred. Who that?